decisions that we make the bridge on HBO. And, and he stopped the film on like DVR, went to his piano, wrote, wow. the, wrote the song, and the band he was with had broken up. Yeah. But they came back together right before this, and then they're like, "This is our flagship song." And it's for a while. I'm tight to the red. Losing your side. KFI AM 640. It is the Conway Show. Uh, Kevin Hines is with us. Uh, he's got. Uh, a couple of projects he's working on right now. He survived jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge. What are some of the signs that somebody is suicidal, that somebody is thinking about taking their own life? Because uh, I, I see it happening and hear about it happening so much nowadays, uh, where people get desperate, they don't have any money that they, that they used to have, or you know they've lost somebody, uh, even a pet, or, or, or perhaps, a, uh, God forbid, a child, or a parent that they you know that they were very close to, and they think it's over, they think it's not going to get better, and they talk about killing themselves. One of the biggest signs that we see today is a lack of care for yourself. So when someone who is genuinely uh, hygienic uh, and gets a good amount of sleep, eats three square meals a day and snacks, starts those things start to diminish. Right. They start eating less, a lot less. They start sleeping less, a lot less. They start uh, not physically taking care of themselves and their hygiene, big signs. One of the signs that I exhibited, which is very common, I gave away a great deal of my prized possessions right up until my attempt. Oh, is that right? Uh, that's right. I gave away a 14 year, $20,000 comic book collection. Oh my God. To my little brother who creases comic books. No way. Irrational. Oh no! I'm being, I'm being a little joke here, but seriously, that yeah. I, I would never have done that in a good state of mind. I wanted to give it to someone who could take care of them. He was my best option. Uh, I gave away a four hundred dollar CD collection. I said CD, right? And um, and I never got that back. <laughs> I got the comic books back. Um, and I gave away all of my grade school and high school trophies. All of my friends were like, Kevin. We don't want these. Right. <laughs> but they didn't. But they weren't any wiser. They had never heard of this statistic. Oh, that's it. I've never heard of that either. Well, that's right, important. Right. It's important. Someone gives you all... The, when someone is trickling out all of their things... Right. When they usually are very grateful and happy to have those things, it's definitely a sign. The, you know, and and on, the, on the flip side, if someone who is generally not like a, a big eater or, or, or not a big sleeper and they're sleeping too much, they're eating too much... These are some of our signs. Right. Now, one of the most clear signs, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't like life anymore. I'm not happy where I am in this existence. That kind of language, a direct connection to suicidal crisis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, when people, when they call the suicide hotline, and and I think that's manned 24 hours a day, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yes, and, and there, are, there are hubs in, in most states where if you call from... Arkansas, you're going to get a center in Arkansas that can then direct you or someone who's calling for somebody else even uh, to a place of safety. That's 1-800-273-8255 plus one for active duty servicemen and women and military veterans. Now, you and you want to have enough people on duty because the worst thing in the world is you call the suicide hotline they go, hey, could you hold on? Like, hold on. And, and I'm going to kill myself. Well, What's but, wrong but, with see, you? The issue there is that happens but our government's not adequately funding our hotline. Right. So that, there's a whole issue there. But they're, they're doing the best they can. Uh, one thing you can do is text CNQR to 741-741. That's the, that's the crisis text line. Now that is a great thing you can get. You, and people are texting more and more often with this text line and they're finding the same amount of success as in somebody else who makes a phone call. We have all these kids wanting to text now. They're telling the truth on these texts, these crisis line, crisis text line, and they are saving lives left and right. CNQR stands for courage. Normalize, question, recovery. Courage to talk about your mental health. Right. Normalize the conversation of suicide and mental health. Question, do you have a pl are you suicidal and do you have a plan of recovery? Because we know it's possible with treatment and care. Check it out.
Yeah, some people know the truth and all the shit that I've been through. Diamond in the rough, it's time to convince you. I'm about to change the world, that's all that I'm into. Even though a couple true friends is essential. Before you think big, boy, you gotta think simple. Build your foundation and focus your mental.